Um, way back, play back with Pat McNeil's wrapping up Starcade '89. He uh, keeps asking me to come on the show, and I'd Pat? never have time because I'm, I'm back to work. I don't yeah. have time. So. You should go on. He sounds a little bit like a robot, kind of like. No, uh, I've been on the show like four times, four or five times. Yeah. yeah, I've done his show for years. You know? But is he the one that has kind of like a weird voice, kind of or no? Yeah, he does a little bit. And yeah, that, yeah. you should go on there and do a like with auto tune or that. <laughs> 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 Th- My name th- is Kane, <laughs> and so- I am a Rudy Poo candy ass. <laughs> Remember that? That was great. Remember that? The Rock did that? <laughs> yeah, you and me popped. We were backstage watching that, right. and we were getting Kane. heat from everybody. And I yeah. am a Rudy Poo candy ass. <laughs> so Pat Pat this week discusses uh, the Road Warriors versus the Steiners and Flair versus Sting from Starcade 89. Uh, it's Husey Hello. Husey, Husey returns. After you, D.I., the Sting Flair match. I'm very excited about seeing this. Yeah, right, Tremendous. <laughs> uh, it's Husey Hello return this week. I know everyone's been waiting for uh, that announcement. Just that. I know. Just that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nobody's been waiting for him. <laughs> Husey had on Francine from ECW. You know, the queen of extreme. Let me guess. You were yeah, on you're right. Show, I, I was I watching a clip. He put a clip out. And it was talking about, and the title of the clip was Creepy Interaction with Vince McMahon or something. Yeah. Backstage. Yeah. And I, I was like, uh, sir, you know, my th- popped up and it's listened to it. And it didn't even, it wasn't even, it didn't even get there. So he's clickbaiting his channel as well. Yeah. He's clickbaiting his channel. Of course yeah. he does. Although there was a very uh, interesting story about Francine and Rick Rude in ECW. I don't know if you ever saw this clip, but Rude was to come out to ringside and carry Francine away so she couldn't interfere. Except he picked her up like a power bomb and jammed his face right into her crotch and, and, and made, I was going to say made it look like he was eating her but I don't know how he could fake that. So, and she was very uh, perturbed and upset. Yeah, but she was like at the time she didn't want to say anything because it's Rick Rude. But then when the Me Too sh- started, she thought of it that way. Like, geez, he really did like take advantage of me without my permission. And Wait, whatever. what do you mean the we, the Me Too? Like she she was going like from twenty five years ago. She wanted to bring it up. No, it's just she didn't bring it up like that, and she didn't hashtag it or anything. But she said on Husey's show that that's that made her think back. Like, wow, this guy actually did that without my permission or anything like that. So, bro, I'm just telling. Here's the thing. Back then, guys didn't ask for permission. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. They just not, en- sh- not enough. Not enough girls complained about it. Right. Like too many girls were just cool with at, like that when they were hanging around. Bro, there were so many girls who were throwing themselves at the wrestlers. It's like how could you not think that that's like the culture that you're involved in here? Yeah. You know, it was just very easy for girls. You know, yeah, so well, when you have to remember right. she. And even though that was rude because he didn't ask her, that's one of the boys. And, you know, he's getting every day, everywhere he goes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I'm yeah, not saying. It is, I'm what, not it is what it is. So this is diff- but, People looked at it differently back then. But it's like, you know, these girls have been with a lot of the boys before. Yeah. They hang out of the shows. After the shows, they come. Like, there was no taking advantage of these g- girls. Saying, you know, like, they, they knew what was going on. This so isn't like. like you know, you're 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 wrestling worth in the ring, and you and you like cheap get a cheap feel of her breast or something. He picked her up upside no. down and put his face. It was you've never seen anything like it. Not on a not on a wrestling TV show. I've never He's even like, seen what you're talking. What about? about did you did you see the Austin Aries thing with Candice Michelle or whatever her name is? Uh, no, um, no, the, it was uh, the, it was the redhead what girl. What's her name? Um, yeah, the redhead girl what's from WWE, and then she was in Playboy, and then she was on the Impact Creative Team. Oh, Christy Hemme. Yeah, Christy Hemme. What happened? Yeah, remember, like, uh, they did the spot where he climbed up on the second rope and, like, gyrated his... his oh, yeah, 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 because yeah, she said yeah. his name wrong or something? Yeah, she's... Something like that. Called him the wrong you know, name. That was the same thing. But that, yeah. but that was back... See, that's, that was weird. That's like the wrestling fans are kind of weird like that because, yeah. like, it was... Impact was, like, kind of like the indie darling show, so they didn't want him to get in trouble, so they didn't, like, you know... It's, uh, it's kind of weird. That's when I think fans started turning against Aries, though, because he's not a very popular... You know, right. not a very popular guy anymore. Uh, so on Francine's show, Eyes Up Here, it's a best of 2020 retrospective show, looking at the best moments from her and uh, her. Best of 2020, that must be a short show. <laughs> her, it's her and her co-host, uh, the Chadster, you know, co-host the uh, Eyes Up Here. What a Francine, brutal name here. The Chadster. <laughs> See another top guy? 